copying animations can save you time. For example, when you have similar scenes that are going to have similar animations, you can easily copy them over and modify them if needed. Or for any other reasons, you would want to copy animations from one animation player to another animation player. Here's how. If you find this helpful, please subscribe. So let's dive in. So open up Giro and I'm gonna make this a 3D scene and add a CSG box that I will animate. I will also add a animation player and make a new animation. So animation and new, and I'm just gonna press okay. And we're gonna animate this cube. So select the cube and we will animate its transforms. So I'm gonna key the rotation, create a new key. And in the middle, I'm gonna make all the uh, rotations at max. So 360, make a new key. And then we can set interpolation mode to cubic and we can also make it loop by enabling animation looping. Now if we play this, it will look something like this. Let's increase the time to something like 5 and 2.5 for this key. And we're also going to animate the scale. And let's select the scale, make a new key. And in the middle, and let's make it 1.5, make a new key for that. Now if we play it, it looks something like that. You might want to make this cubic as well. And now for the actual copying of the animation, we can go into edit and then we do copy tracks. And here you can either do select all and that will check every single animation that you have. And if you check it again, it will unselect everything. You can also select individual ones by just clicking on them. And then we hit copy. And if you have a new scene, that you want to copy them over to. I'm gonna make a new scene here and we can add an animation player, make a new animation. And then on edit on this other animation player, we go into edit and paste tracks. That will paste them. And I'm also gonna make the time for this one five. It even keeps the interpolation mode, but you will see now there are these errors for the animation keys. And that's because it doesn't have the object that it's trying to animate and it's going after the name. So for this case, it's the CSG box 3D. If we add a CSG box 3D, the keys will start working again. And now if we play this animation, they will work just like the other scene that we had before. It doesn't have looping on this animation. So that's why it looked a little bit different. So keep in mind the naming of the object needs to be the same. You can change the naming after you have gotten the animations to work. So right now I could make this anything. So I could remove 3D and it will keep track. And the old scene, it will track the old one, right? So they aren't linked in any way. So you will have to copy them over. Thanks for watching and special thanks to our Ko-Fi members for making this video possible. If you want to support our work and have your name featured in future videos, check out our Ko-Fi in the description. And we'll see you in the next one.